What's up, guys? It's Mafia. It's me, guys. I'm drunk. How's that? My name's Zach. <laughs> it's my show. Shut up. <laughs> now we gotta start over. No. Oh. My name's Zach. I'm Toe Up Child. Mafia and welcome back to my channel. It is I Queen of Origin. You gotta slap up, shut up, then, and slap the island in case you didn't know. Now you know. Today we have a guest on the channel. My name's Zach. I'm Toe Up Child. Let's get right into this shit. This is gonna be episode one, season one of Advice with Tipsy Goddess. So without further ado, let's get tipsy. Let's get some advice. Ask me some questions, and I'm tipsy, and I'm gonna give you my <laughs> real and tipsy answer. So, question number one. Okay, on, on this topic, what's your uh, most awkward moment in the bar? My most awkward moment in the bar. <laughs> Every moment I spend at the bar is awkward. I'm pretty sure it was in Philly. I went to a nightclub with some friends. That's my cat. She's in heat. And I was hitting on this man. <laughs> And he had a girlfriend, but you know, I was, I was spitting gang gang. <laughs> and then this bitch came up and she's like, that's my boyfriend. And I was like, well, girl, shit. We could all get together and have a party. <laughs> when I'm tipsy, I'm a different type of bitch. That was my most awkward moment at the bar. Period. <laughs> <In> Philly. <laughs> Period. All right. My turn. What's your most embarrassing moment ever? Oh shit! Probably when I got hit by that car on Penn Street. No I was skating. <laughs> <laughs> I was skateboarding down Penn Street, ready, and uh, car decided to pull on a red light. I think I'm good to get up after I fall. I can't get up. <laughs> I don't think I can get up right now. Yeah, oh, so, yeah, it's probably the most embarrassing, because I thought everybody was, like, recording it, trying to put it on the internet, and it's like, oh, yeah, they're just I'll trying to get me an ambulance. Okay. I would have put it on World Star. <laughs> okay, it all makes sense now. Yes, sir. Okay. Hmm. Hold on, I'm trying to film. Can you get down? Get down. Okay, what's the corniest pickup line that was ever used on you? The corniest pickup line. Don't act like nobody ever tried to use them. If you say you, if you say they didn't, you're lying. <laughs> the corniest pickup line. I've used on do. me. I think oh. it was. Baby, did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Cause you're an angel. <laughs> Who hasn't heard that? That nigga was so fucking weak. <laughs> what kind of pickup line is that? Did it hurt when I fell from heaven? Hell yeah. Why do you think there's holes in? On Leah now. <laughs> I fell far. <laughs> Shit. I don't even have no wings. Shit, I wonder why. <laughs> he took them jaws away. God sure did smash some bitches right off my back. I was like, you don't need these no more. Now where you going? My turn. What was the most embarrassing thing you've ever got caught doing? Oh shit, I got one. Ah oh, shit. I was in foster here with this one family and the brother. I was seeing Lady Gaga in the bed. <laughs> Not the bedroom, the living room. And I was trying to do the telephone dance. Remember that? The music video of Beyonce? Uh -huh. <laughs> I was caught trying to do that in the living room. He's like, go to your room. You're fucking weird. <laughs> Ooh. That's disrespectful. Let me live my best life. Let me be great. I'm it's my my turn. turn. Ask me a question. My turn. It's my turn. Oh, yeah, it is your turn. Don't mind me. It's your it's turn. <laughs> Ask a question. I'm thinking. This shit don't happen like that. <laughs> think hard, but don't think long. I stay with that pink on. Bars. That was from Nicky. I stole it. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> don't worry. It's trademark. We didn't take shit. Ba -ba 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 Bars. So, no, we didn't. <laughs> What's the Bars. question? Question. Yo, I am done. 
you done? I mean, this shit, here's my question. Do you ever drink liquor? <laughs> I drink liquor almost when I can afford it. <laughs> I be drinking, drinking. Shit. They know I'm an alcoholic. Zizzy, Zizzy, we all know you're an alcoholic. <laughs> Don't come for me, bitch. <laughs> Like, I know I have a like, problem. It's like this like in the parking lot. <laughs> you can't talk about coronavirus. You can't come at me. You ain't got no socks or shoes on with no mask. Listen, that night was... That's a story time for a different day. Because <laughs> I was drawing. <laughs> I walked up in there barefooted as hell. He said, no mask, socks. no socks, and no shoes. <laughs> you said, let me get your socks. I was like, I'm at work. For real, I don't know who crusty fucking feet been in there. I couldn't find my shoes. <laughs> I was stuck. He was like, I'm ready to go. So I was like, fuck it. Let's Native shit, that. we're going barefoot. I'll get you a pair of socks. <laughs> I'll get you a pair of your question now. <laughs> oh, my question. What is my question? Name a time you were so drunk, don't remember exactly what happened when you woke up the next day. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't remember. Touche. <laughs> that was a drunk question and I got a drunk answer. <laughs> How about this? Name a time your boss embarrassed you in front of everybody. I don't really know, to be honest. I mean... You know what? It's your turn. <laughs> I mean, I'm a pretty solid worker, I'd say. I work solid too, but they be coming for me. Well, I wonder why. Because I'm cute. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> okay. I had a question. I'm trying to remember what it was, though. First hangover. What happened? Jesus, my first hangover was so fucking bad, I woke up high the next day. I was drinking, I was smoking, I was not fucking, I was a virgin at the time. What, you, what you were a virgin? virgin? Yeah, I was Holy. my virginity at 22. And that who? Shut up. <laughs> I was in Pittsburgh the first time I ever, no, oh my goodness. The first time I ever got drunk, I saw something on the other side and it tried to kill me. What are you doing? And what I, is, I, I went bone cold, boot away, move! Try to eat the side of the wall. So listen, I got stupid drunk. It was my first time drinking and my first time smoking weed. I was fucking blasted. I had a Frodo Baggins moment from the Lord of the Rings. So I saw this demon. It was Lucifer. I'm not playing. You, you try to pull out your it, sword too? No. So when that globe, we never but you know when he's like, Sam, he's here. Okay, so my friend Alex was holding me in her lap, and I was going bone cold, and I was like, Alex, he's here. No, you were just drunk. Fucked up. I saw you that know, shit. You remember that song by Drake? He said, I don't usually do this unless I'm drunk or high, and I'm bored I'm right not now. playing. <laughs> I saw this shit. It almost <laughs> killed me. It was like this. I was like, Alex, he's here. He's here, and I was cold, and then I started screaming and tried to run out the door, but they tackled me, and then I woke up the next day, and I was like, do you remember what happened? I was like, I know, I almost died, fucking with the weed and the drink. Whoo! She see me every day, then. I'm around your ass, the weed's already there. <laughs> Name one time, and it was so fucked up, you saw something from the other side. Shit, let me fucking tell you. It wasn't from the other tie other side. The other tie. <laughs> no, um one day it was just it was the first time I ever smoked with this pe these people. I invited them to my place. And excuse me. I had them uh we were all in my living room, which is chilling, right? We got so fucked up damn. We got burp I'm burping. <laughs> no, we got so fucked up the one time that I was I, I decided to play a little prank. And uh, so I told the person there's a flying Dutchman outside from SpongeBob floating in the sky. No, they Dutchman. were so fucked up. They believed me and started to freak out. 
and I, it got so bad to the point to where they got me looking out the window like, damn, I'm fucked up because I'm believing the only prank I pulled. I, I was about to say, how do you make up a story <laughs> and then forget you the reason that That's all this what I'm saying. Happened. And then I just walked away after that. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go lay down. But that's that's the craziest shit I ever sold. Alright, next question for me. Shit. One thing that really made you second guess looking behind you. Oh shit. So one night, I was walking to work, cause I used to work third shift. I would get to work. My shift started at 11.30, I believe. 11.7? No, 11.30. Well, so 30, I had to 30. walk. I worked at um, Palmer's. Yeah, eleven to seven. Yeah. Yeah, because I worked the same fucking shit. I don't know. Sorry. Maybe I did. I, I worked all three shit. I, I don't. Work. Bro, you know, you know how much chocolate I ate there just from getting the munchies. I could. You got no well, idea. Well, listen. Okay, so I was walking. You know that church right there in Shillington? You pass the hospital and then there's that church there. The church on top of the hill. Yeah, oh. that's the one. The white one. The beige one. And there's our little sandwich shop on the left side. If you're walking to Penn Street, coming from you Oak Brook, Penn Ave? Penn Ave, coming from Oak Brook. Yeah. That little church right there. Okay, so I was walking, and I felt something crawl up my back. It was trying to get me. It was trying to get in me. So I screamed. Mind you, there was somebody following me from all the way, because my brother, I used to live with my brother. He lives behind Oak Brook in Shellington, almost near Lancaster Ave. So I'm walking. And I feel this thing crawl out my back, but this boy was like, hey, hey, you. And he kept trying to talk to me. So I walked faster, and then I felt something grab me on the back and crawl up my neck, and I started screaming in a language I don't know. I really started screaming, and I hit it. That was the whole diary. I hit it down the pen. But it happened at the church. They got demons in there. I'm not playing with you. (laughs) Don't talk to me. (laughs) Because I hit it. (laughs) Then I get to work, and my boss was like, were you? running down the street I was like yeah she's like are you okay who was, was it like, which, which Waco was it I forget her name but she had glasses and curly hair and she was had it blonde no it was dark brown she was mad nice but she was like baby I thought she was on some bath salts or acid I, was Shit, like, I came in so fucked up the one time tell me how the uh, one side of uh, the utility smelled just like me on the end of Bagger's home. Shit, did you just dribble all over your shit? You wanna call me out like that? Alright, I got What's myself too sick. I got a little purple right here. Is it my turn? Alright, the scariest shit, thing yeah, that's ahead. ever happened to you. Shit, I died. <laughs> so, no. Uh, scariest thing that's ever happened to me. Uh. Having this dog drink my alcohol. I can't stand you. <laughs> no, um, I always like big into like these scary movies when I was little. So that's what got me into them now. So when I was little, I used to think I was like the biggest badass motherfucker. So I'd always put on these scary movies. Mm-hmm. So I decided to watch the Poltergeist ones. It was the uh, the one with the uh, people on the TV and stuff <laughs> like that trying to steal little kids and shit. So one day, I'm crawling out of my room after watching that movie because I was thirsty. And then I went to the bathroom afterwards and went back to sleep. In between all that happening, I go in the living room. I swear to God, that TV turned on and I thought I saw a handprint on the screen. I screamed so loud. My mom comes downstairs and is like, what happened? I said, there's people on the TV. Get them. And she's like, heck, there's nobody there. Go to sleep. And... I swear, all my life, I saw some mother, some motherfucker in that TV. That's why I bought that streams. That's why you white. That's why I bought flash movies. <laughs> That's why you buy flash movies. Flat screens. You know why? I can't fuck with it. Neither can I. That's why I get flat screens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, where's drunk walk home? Oh my god. I know you got one. <laughs> okay, so one day I went to a party at my best friend's house, her family's house. They picked me up, but they kind of dropped me off. So I'm walking home, pissy. Mind you, I had a full beat face. I was some <laughs> hoe shit. And so I'm walking, and you know the Sunoco on Penn Avenue? There was a homeless man in there, and he kept staring at me. 
I went in there to buy a black and mild. So once I'm done paying for myself, and you know, they're, they're Indonesian. <laughs> Indian people. They're all weird. They're so once I'm done looking. paying paying for my stuff, I go to leave. Mind you, the man walked in the store after me, but he left before me, so I wasn't thinking nothing. So then I go to leave, and then I cross the street, and he's there, and he's like, I just want you to know that you're very beautiful. And I was like, thank you, I'm going, like, I have to go. And he kept trying to talk to me. Why this man followed me? He should have like, said, don't talk to me. <laughs> that doesn't work with the homeless. That's all they want to do is talk. So... I was drunk as hell, kind of like I am right now. Let me find out you hooked up with the old guy from that. I can never fuck a homeless person. I thought about it and I can't. You thought about it? Oh, hell no. I'm playing. You know, this is one of them videos where we should have that, oh, fuck no, red button. We're gonna put one in. (laughs) I didn't think about it. Oh, fuck. I couldn't do it. You don't, you know how dirty a homeless is. If you're homeless, I'm sorry that you're hearing this. Shit, they don't, they can't watch this. They homeless. They ain't got no fucking phones. You never know who they fucking now. That man was weird. He had the big, you know the thing from the Goonies. Chocolate. That's the hunchback. Yeah, he had a nose like that. I was Shit. terrified. <laughs> I was so scared for my life. <laughs> He's like, don't suck me into your hunchback. I don't want to be in there. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. I used to be reckless. Oh, yeah, you was fucked, fucked. I was... So yes, there were probably wasn't even you know somebody when, there in real life. You No, that, that There was man probably was nobody That there. man was real. Listen, let me find out he was so drunk. You, you know, people come up you know his song came out that same night, Drunk in Love by Beyonce. I you know, I saw the Beyonce, but I, I was just like, unbelievable. I was tore <laughs> up. And I, they had me walk my pretty ass home at 3 a.m. This homeless man was trying to get my goodies. He's like, you got any change? No, sir. Then you sent me spend my last 95 cent. Let me the fuck alone. Then he started. Okay, so you know Sunoco to Reading Hospital? Boy, I was trying to go to the emergency room because he tried to get me. I don't play with the homeless. They're fucking crazy. <laughs> They're going to stab you. I don't care if they go to jail because then they got to sure don't. Food. Alright, let me check this. Oh, uh, 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 excuse me. We ain't, oh, wait, we gotta even that shit out first. Even it out. You better wait. That's what I say. It's my turn. Go ahead. I'll take your turn then. Um. Name a time when you almost went to jail. Name a time when I didn't almost go to jail. Yesterday. Touche. I went. When I almost went to jail. Probably on 5th Street. Remember that story I told you about the pedophile? Yeah, that's probably, I almost went to jail for that. Did she tell you about that shit? No. Okay, so Tell one time, to... one time there was this guy, I was living on this place called Fifth and Wanda, if you're not from Reading. And I was letting this guy stay with me. And, you know, I'm a dickhead, so his rent was his belongings. <laughs> so... It his came to, was it, his blog. Yeah, so it came to the point to where he had to get. <laughs> I took his PlayStation for <laughs> And uh, I, I don't do this anymore. I'm not a dick bag that much anymore. He's lying. Sometimes. But uh, I was going through the everything and they just took in the storage and shit and I see the conversations. This thing is texting like five year olds through the PlayStation store getting them to send him new pictures and shit. Oh, no. And so I go up to him and I was like, so what's this? And he'd be like, I don't know what that is. That's not me. And I was like, okay, because that picture, pretty, that guy looks like you. Pretty sure that's your face, my nigga. Like, don't fucking lie to my face. It's your picture. Oh, no. And uh, so we ended up, I ended up calling like three people. Three people came over to the house. And we were going to jump him. And just, just hurt him bad. Because, you know, huh? scumbags deserve it, right? And so, uh, it turns out that my, my roommate at the time ended up saying, Zach, just make him turn himself in. So we made him call the cops on himself, made the, made him go up to the cops and say, I'm going you're looking for, and they took him in. They were looking for this man? No, because he called the cops on himself and they came. Or is he white? Yeah, he was white. Oh. I think he just got released recently and he's staying in the Hope Rescue Mission. You know my uncle runs that? Oh, well. No, his name is Alivo. 
Yeah, you find out your uncle's hot and pedophile. I mean, they can't hold that against him. That's an equal opportunity help center. <laughs> you go up with TV in my ass. Anyway, I'm anyway, Guys, Mafia, this has been, I don't know what this was, <laughs> but I yeah. hope you enjoyed the video. You gotta, like, chug this for the Wait, way. it is I, Queen of Origin, Goddess Love, and Zacharias. Please look me up. Uh, I stream Call of Duty. What's your channel? Zacharias Muth. 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 M-U-T-H. I'm going to tag that in the description box. If you like Zach, go over there and subscribe to his channel. He only got four subscribers. He's yeah, just turning out. <laughs> However, it has been our Queen of Virgin got a love. Until next time, stay blessed and stay beautiful. Woo! Y'all know I'm fucked up. Ah, ah. See you next time. Get the record.